So my name is Engineer Irabo from Irabs Automobile Mechatronics Knowledge. Today I'll be talking about ABS. What is ABS? ABS is anti-lock braking system. What is anti-lock braking system? This prevents the wheel from locking when braking. That is, as at the time you are applying your brake, it ensures that the wheel did not lock, the wheel did not slide on the floor. And these are mostly used in a hydraulic brake systems and air brake systems. During braking, ABS system controls the braking pressure of a way according to its grip on the road surface in order to prevent the way from locking. And you have structures. It consists of the following. The way sensor with the post ring, the ECU with the modulator, and the warning lamp. Okay, let's start with the controlling unit. This process the coming signal from a relevant sonar valve. The function of the ABS system is constantly monitored by a self diagnosis. Okay, let's go to the warning light. This, this, this signal that the ABS is ready for operation at the start. As you start your vehicle, first and foremost, the light comes up and goes back. It comes on when the ABS control system fails, is that is is permanently on. The vehicle can still be fully braked but without ABS control. And once this ABS light is permanently on, you lose all the functionalities or the advantage of ABS. Then let's talk about the uh, hydraulic modulators. That is, is with the, uh, the return pump. This contains a sonar valve for control, a low pressure accumulator, for brake fluids, an electrical driven return pump. This pump is activated via a relay and always run during the ABS control system. That's just it. And also with the wheel sensors. These are on every way. For every sensor, there is a pulse ring or magnetic ring around the way. And this sensor can be passive or active. What is passive? What is active? Active is when the voltage for the vehicle is connected directly. That is, is connected with a current or strom or voltage or, or light, what we call it. But the passive is not connected. It's during the rotatory motion of that tire that the mag there will be magnetic field that it will use to generate the voltage needed for this operation. But I think I will go to the picture. The picture will clear that. You will understand it better through the picture. As I said, this ABS consists of ABS electronics, ABS hydraulics, which is hydraulics modulator, and you have the brake system. These are the four sensors. One, two, three, four. That is the front one, right and left, the back one, right and left. And this sensor, if you see, they have these blue lines. They report directly to the ECU. The ECU. That is the movement the how many times the speed of this uh, of this uh, tire they record it and send it here so the back one also record and send the two back one and the two front one so when they record as you are going as you now the pedal here you now apply your brakes your brake pedal so the ECU, which is the brake bus, now calculates the, the rotational speed of each tire because each tires are not the same. Because it can be you at where you are cornering, as I said, that is when you apply, apply the brakes. 
So, it will automatically calculate the speed of the ride and tell this hydraulic modulator, the ABS engine, how many hydraulics to send to the right tire. Because when you are cornering, the right tire is faster than the left tire. The left tire is not as fast when you are at the corner, except you are at the straight road. So this is where the, the, the function of this ABS is very important. So as at the time you are cornering, you are, the drivers apply the brakes. So this is you send information to this uh, hydraulic modulators, please. Since also amount of hydraulics to the uh, to, uh, right, to the left, and that is why you brake without having a problem, the motor just stop because each need already calculated the amount of stopping, stopping power it needs from this uh, hydraulic. So when it's sent to equal uh, the tires, so there will be no sliding, there will be no overboarding, motor will not tumble, so that is just that. You see the warning lamps, these warning lamps as we correct just now, when you start your vehicle first, it means it will read and go off if it is okay. And when it maybe do continuous is on, it means there is a problem with this uh, ABS. Either with the ECU, electronic uh, circuit unit, or the hydraulic modulator itself. So that is uh, the little I can explain, but it's very important in a vehicle because if there is, when there is a fault, and not that when it's not working, once that light is on, your, your brakes will still be working you can stop, but the only thing now is just the security that you were having when this uh, ABS were on, you will not be having it anymore. Even to steer, now you have the confidence of steering. If you want to steer the vehicle, the confidence is there when the ABS is on. You can corner as you like, you can brake as you like. You don't have problem, but the only thing is when the ABS light is on, and you are doing this, you have to be careful because when you are at the corner, you break, it can swerve you, you hit pavement, you leave the road. All these are the usefulness of this uh, ABS because some of us, we have it in the vehicle, the light is on, we don't even know the meaning, what is, what is the meaning, the functionalities of this ABS. That is why I just want to give light to it.